Hey everybody, and welcome back to another cast of The Lord of the Rings, The Rise of the Witch King, The Battle for Middle-Earth 2. Wait, I think I messed that up. Whatever, I got it all in there. So, uh, today's replay and cast is going to be on the map called uh, Double Bridges, or it's actually called Care Andros Double Bridges. It is a map, it is a user-created map that actually I made myself, and uh, I'll get into the map in a second here after I introduce the players. Spawning in the lower left-hand side, we have Bradlew. His um, ally, slightly above him here, is going to be Firebrand as the dwarves. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention what Bradlew is. He is going to be as Agmar. Above him, the third, their third player, uh, Snake Lugs. This is a 4v4 map. Snake Lugs as Mordor. And finally, Zoro as the dwarves in the top. Now, across the way here, uh, we have a bridge with two watchtowers on it, and then a center area. Uh, there's a couple of things in the center area, a signal fire and um, outpost respectively on each side, on the top side and the lower side. And so uh, their opponents here is going to be Delight spawning as Agmar. Beneath him, this is going to be Cloud as Mordor. That's, my, that's me, by the way. And uh, Nate here as the elves. And finally in the lower side here we have Osiris spawning as men. So. As this battle gets underway, um, looks like the elves here. Who was the elves again? I believe that was... That's Nate. Okay. So, uh, some of the keys to this map are going to be stealing these watchtowers or gaining control of them as they grant you nice vision and uh, increased range for archers. Um, looks like I already got my builder in one of these, and uh, I think that's going to be a uh, delight. Um, I wonder who delight is. I'm not actually sure who this is. These are all my friends, but I'm not sure who that is because I would say that would be Osiris, but uh, Osiris is down here. Sometimes I thought he played as Delight, but uh, I guess I am wrong. So I have absolutely no idea which one of my friends this is, but... Uh, oh, I might know who that is. Okay, I got I have an idea now. But anyways, um, so it looks like we are able to grow, grab both of our watchtowers here. And... Um, Looks like I'm just going to go for the immediate kill on this outpost. I don't even want to mess with it, capturing it or recapturing it. So it looks like I'm just going to be aiming to kill this. Um, you know, on the lower side, our allies here are not quite as lucky as they're going to lose a Dwarven Builder here. Is that one of our Dwarven Builders? No, that's one of the enemy's Dwarven Builders. So he goes down, but uh, at the same time they do grab the outpost, which is going to grant them some extra income here. Now a couple of uh, Agmar troops coming in here from Bradlew attacking these elves. What? Oh, okay, those elves are Nates. I'm so confused. I was so confused for a second there. I was like, why is he attacking his own troops? Because you can't even do that. But, uh... Oh, these archers are... Uh, Osiris' archers, my bad. I thought they were uh, this side's Bradlew's and... Um, uh, firebrands here, but they are not. So it looks like we have the outpost on the lower side. Um, nice work there of uh, of Osiris and um, his ally Nate to push forward here. And now they're going to be attacking these pikemen who are just standing here, taking arrows to the face. Finally, are like, hey, maybe we should uh, attack. So they will move up here, but um, not sure. I think those archers got enough volleys off to start the game that, uh, yeah, they're going to level up and looks like they'll be able to take out all those dwarves. So, um, not the smartest job there by Firebrand, but, um, will weaken those archers at least. But he does have the tower here and he has axe rows in there and, yeah, he's going to want to fall back with those archers. Loses a couple of them there. Meanwhile, on the top side, Agmar here, um, which is played by the light. Uh, my ally is going to be taking on a couple of dwarven mines. Um, looks like I've gone for a mass archer strategy. I really should have just captured this outpost. This is ridiculous um, because they haven't pushed forward at all. Um, Snake legs and um, oh gosh, Zoro. So I could have had that this outpost that entire time. And it looks like Zoro actually going for an early prince brand. Not a bad choice, but um, he will be incredibly ineffective against this tower. And he will have to fall back now, and he's going to be able to grab this outpost for himself. Uh, as my archers were not able to destroy that. Meanwhile, Delight up here, uh, finishing off that mine. Probably should capture the signal fire as long as he's up here. 
We'll check that out shortly. Now finally, it looks like Zoro is going to capture that, but it's so weak. My archers are going to try and focus it down, but too many enemy archers here. Throws down the bonus. And then I think I throw down my bonus on top of it. As you can see, my units get the bonus there, and it cancels out his bonus as uh, mine goes over top of it. So, uh, still, there's so many archers here that it uh, looks like he is thinking like he's going to fall back there. And now I have out a Mouth of Sauron, who is running in place for the camera. It's very good, Mouth of Sauron. It's like that little pony ride at, uh, at like, uh, a Meijer or a Walmart or something. Uh, we sit on the pony and it just moves back and forth, but it doesn't you know, go anywhere. Uh, anyways, and now it looks like uh, Bradlew has, uh, and Firebrand have pushed forward here, pushed back the forces of uh, Osiris and um, Osiris and Nate. They are in a lot of trouble now. They've lost the center. Do they have? The, they don't. They haven't captured the watch or the signal fire yet. But they have the outpost that gives them extra resources. And uh, have they actually gotten a hold of this? Yeah, they have gotten a hold of this. Bradley has taken over this tower here. So he has complete vision over this whole area, uh, this whole bridge here. He can see what's coming, and he gets the ranged volleys or the increased range from his action controllers here. And uh, Brad losing, or Dylan, excuse me, losing several of his archers. Now on the top side, myself and uh, Delight here have built some sort of a Sim City uh, fortress here uh, to hold off the attacks of Brand and his and his allies, the um, Snake Legs Mordor here. So as they push forward, I would hope. Yeah, we do have a Temple of Twilight out. Delight now going for uh, some sorcerers to help counter this. Uh, meanwhile, on the lower side. Um, Bradlew and Nate in a bit of trouble trying to get up, um, looks like they got up a watchtower here, they have this one, uh, I believe this is a battle tower actually, and, um, the well here provides some healing, although I, there's nothing in this tower, he needs to put some elves in the tower, um, does get some in there, does get the second group in there, yes, but... At this point, it may be too late. He's in a lot of trouble. And now we have Knights of the Lamroth from uh, Osiris here. And um, Knights of the Lamroth, incredibly powerful. However, at the same time, die very easily. Very strong. Uh, they're basically the glass cannon of the game. And uh, looks like Agmar spells here. That's going to be Delight up top trying to help out with uh, some of his spells. Meanwhile, up top, our forces are finally amassed and we are pushing forward now. Uh, Delight needs to bring up Waldir here, but uh, King Dane is out for Zoro and already level 2, almost level 3. Now, I do have there is fire archers in here. I believe. And there goes down the spell from Agmar, but it's not going to be enough as uh, Waldir here in a lot of trouble. Waldir is being focused on by Bran, as you can see, and Waldir falls there at the last second, uh, trying to escape, and it looks like the forces of Zoro and Snake Legs will prevail here in the center. Do we have any reinforcements for that? Mouth of Sauron returning, I'm not quite sure from where, but uh, he is injured. Looks like he was, oh, he probably was down here taking out this outpost. Um, Meanwhile, Osiris going for some uh, heroes here, the brothers uh, Boromir and Faramir, now with the Coda here, and they're going to move up and help Nate here continue to hold off his army. The reinforcement's a little slow here for um, Bradlow and Firebrand. They might be building up, going for some heroes. Yes, that's exactly what they're doing. King Dane now on the field uh, for Firebrand as well as uh, Zoro. So two King, not just one King Dane to deal with, but two. So that is going to be the end of part one, but uh, go ahead and click in the top right here, guys. There should be a link to part two of this uh, 4v4 map here on uh, the Double Bridges.